So I want to start the presentation with uh, what we believe in actually. And that's the first line that you can read. Our relationship with the universe and the self is one of unity. And what that really means to me is that we're all connected. And that means the fish in the sea and I are same. The trout in the leather and I are the same. Because the tea that I'm drinking or the kehwa that I drink is from the same sea in which the fish is swimming right now. I'm connected with the bird that is chirping outside because both of us are breathing the same air. I and you are breathing the same air right now. So we are connected in the same moment, same time. So we, if we understand this essence of life, that we are all connected and not fragmented, then we really value each other. And that, it is very important for us to understand that we're living an anthropocentric life. But if we understand that if we don't have that insect that pollinates the crop that we eat from the agriculture, there'll be no food left for us. So when we throw all the pesticides to have a green lawn, that means we are killing all our food chain. We'll have nothing to eat or to live. And this is the delicate balance that creates this beautiful harmony that Mamusha just showed us today. We live in a timeline which we don't experience, which I call the geological timeline, where the earth is constantly moving. Right now where we're sitting, we are sitting on a dynamic moving earth on which this building is plonked. We don't know what is happening below it. We don't know what is happening in the sea. We're very fortunate to have four or five seasons. And every day, the night and day creates a unique landscape for us. So I'll take you quickly through one of the projects which I worked with Chitra. And I want to tell you and share with all of you what really landscape is and the, the breadth and the dimensions that it can take. So this was a project in Vara outside Bombay in the rural landscapes. So when we look at landscape, we look at what is the rural character of the place in this case. And for us, every project, no matter what, what is the scale or size of the project, the starting point is water, the essence of life. And in this case, water is a regenerative tool for landscape. And you here see four dotted blues, isolated and fragmented pieces of water. Our whole endeavor is to connect them. And we do this for every single project map the topography, figure out how to send the water down into the ground once again. And in this case, you can see how many lakh liters of water we potentially managed to put back into the soil. So this is the Leather Valley, and it is possible to do that here also. Erosion happens due to many reasons, and here you can see due to the movement of the air, the top soil gets vanished. So we don't plant for beautification. You will see here the planting is a strategy to protect the soil that gets washed away due to the water. And you see the greens are around made in such a way to protect it from further erosion. Not only do we protect it from further erosion, we want it to connect one vegetation within the site with the one that is outside to create larger contiguous greens. So that is the whole aim. So now you can see in this project contiguous greens throughout the whole site and with the outside to, have, to create habitats for everything and everyone. So these are the different ways in this project where we managed to work with water. We managed to run, reduce the rate of runoff, minimize disturbance, allowing water to flow from outside the property into the property. We don't create boundary walls. If it is boundary wall, we make them perforated. We connected the swales. We detained the water, and they became landscape elements and we minimized the paved areas so that the, the, there was maximum porous elements available. These are the different ways in we do in different projects. We play with water. And all of it is coming from this years of coming to Kashmir, walking in the small streams, and all my learning comes from here. One element is water. That comes from the sky. And what do we do with the water that we throw out? All the STPs in the country 
90% of them don't work. We, even if they worked, we'll never ever be able to connect them uh, into the whole distribution system. So what we need to have is a distributed biological wastewater system to manage our, our, our sewage. And there are three available technologies. In this case with Chitra, we managed to do the soil biotechnology with the help of IIT Powai. And then the project in which we use the phytorate system in a farmhouse in Delhi. All the water, waste water generated is purified to a degree of BOD which is acceptable and this nutrient rich water then goes into the agrarian landscape. So that is the story of the water, then we fix the land. When we try and make buildings we try to minimize building on the steep slopes, minimize cut and fills and try to control the erosion in many different ways. So here you will see Chitra built only on the ridges. Nothing was built in, this, in, in the valleys. And so we will not build in Bemina. It's really stupid to do that. Why would you want to build in the floodplains and not get drowned? Like the floodplains are for agrarian purpose. So here you see all the buildings sketched on the ridges. You see the stream corridor left empty for the agrarian landscape. And you see those lines that you see were for biological wastewater system. You can see the large pond in the end, a nursery, a temple. So having fixed the water, fixing the land, now you come to the vegetation. The plant palette is very fast vanishing. I see palms coming into Kashmir. You can see them at the airport because it happens in Delhi airport, in Jodhpur airport, why not in Kashmir now? That's the dumbest thing to do. So what we do in every project, try and get the indigenous nursery set up. Kashmir Valley does not have a nursery. Forget an indigenous nursery at the moment. I doubt even if Jammu state has anything. So we need to create different kinds of landscape, forest, habitat, scrub, stream, marsh, pond, if we really are talking about biological diversity. And one of the best places to see that is left in Kashmir Valley is Dachigam. We do not do potted plants. We do not do exotics because the whole manpower is required in pruning the trees. I don't know why we prune head, head cut the chinas in this valley, you know. I don't know what we're trying to do. We can't even maintain our biodiversity and we're spending all the energy and resources in this. The habitat that we try to create is to fix the ecological cycle back in place. We start with butterflies, getting the birds, getting the migratory birds, because you're creating this diversity in the landscape. <clears throat> and we minimize the amount of paved areas. I was shocked to see <clears throat> how much we have paved outside SKICC. I mean, there's no need to do that. So these are different nurseries and different projects that we set up. This is 12 years back in Shilim, and that is in Bangalore. And this is what the whole landscape in, in uh, Wada was supposed to be. Set of constructed wetlands, open grasses, forests, medicinal plantation, and the one that you see in the green is the valley and we brought agrarian landscape into the middle of the resort. A lot of it, and all credit to Chitra for having managed to convince the client, what is the holding capacity of this site? And we should not have more people than that. And this is Chitra's building in Adobe and Mud over there, the first one. And here you see the result after the first year. And that's Swamiji in the nursery, the open grazing for the cattle, uh, the paddy and the ponds. And that's part, this is, the community gets involved in the act of paddy. And it is fun. And right in the middle of the resort. And that's the composting on the top, and you can see the salad. And that's the nursery again at the bottom. And you can see stabilized mud blocks used uh, to make the nursery. So, these are some of the projects that are floating around in Kashmir now. And it is possible to look at this tourism circuit in this context. So what I just showed you in this project, it is possible for us to do for any of these sites. Rather than make tourist reception centers, bench, light, garden and furniture and paving as elements of landscape. This is not landscape architecture what we're doing. We're fooling ourselves. So this is a project, uh, 25 acres of landscape, done about 12, 13 years back in Bangalore. Shares Bangalore, this was a coconut orchard where we introduced at least 60, 70 species of trees. All 
So this, and then there was a part which we established an organic farm that supplies the produce to the resort. On this, this is what I call sustainability. On this 25 acres of land, only 25 people can stay at a time. This is what the organic farm looked like after two years. And this is what we do. Our boundaries were porous. The nala was filled up, and you can see the timber stakes over there. And we do it in Photoshop, and we excavated and reconnected the fragment nala from behind the site over there. Because they filled up the land to reclaim it and plant more coconut trees, like it happens everywhere in the country. So we resurrected the whole water system. And that is what it looks like later on. And this is the swimming pool area, looking onto the forest that we created beyond. Day and night. Mano uh, incidentally did the lighting for this, and it was probably his first project. We used very simple materials, but tried to create aesthetics with this. The rocks that you see over there were from a quarry that was wanting to dispose it off. The lighting fixture that you see was from Mano, and we barely used concrete steel or any high embodied energy. So even the pathway that you saw earlier is made up of stabilized mud. And only where there is erosion, we use paving areas. And this is what the landscape looked like seven months, one year down the road. It's possible to turn around anything if we have the will. And very low budget. We did not have the money. None of our clients have any money. I don't know why. <laughs> we, all our clients are almost always the first time. But there's some reason why they come to us, and so we work with them. And we turn around everything. They're always a low-budget project for us. You don't have to spend millions and waste the money. Anyways, there's so little resource, and we just throw it around in public projects. This is Jodhpur with uh, Lotus. I want to take you to this project. Uh, because you saw the architecture dimension, I'll take you to the landscape. This is what the site looked like, the barren site, in this, in this completely urban context. So how the drawing changes, the one that you see on the top is the schematic, and the one below is after it was completed. Very little change, but more or less the elements are there. They get refined over a period of time. And this is what I and Virin were talking about yesterday. If you have a tender, you finish the fate of the project up front. There's no room for any f anything to do on the side. I can't imagine the project at the beginning of it. I don't know what plants I'm going to use. It has to evolve with time. On any given project, I go at least at least 50 to 60 site visits. Otherwise, I can't do a project. The design comes from the site. There's an incubation period. It evolves. And I work only with local people. I don't work with big contractors because they don't understand the sensitivity. Now, if you freeze the project at the upfront, we are only going to get the same dumb projects that we have been doing for the last 70 years. Now that's the client sitting, looking at what's going to happen. In the backdrop, you see the mount, the fort. This is just the beginning when it was supposed to be inaugurated. Soon after inauguration, lighting design is an integral part of our projects. Same place, close up, after we finished it. And the inspiration of this garden is just Kashmir. We bring it in different form, forms in all our projects. And you imagine we can't do this in this valley where money is rolled, thrown in for project after project after project, it just disappears. And the site becomes a battlefield. It's very difficult. I won't talk about this part, though. But you see, we've incorporated rainwater harvesting as part of landscape design. Every single drop of water passes in. Every, every cable is integrated into design. You'll never see a manhole popping out. You'll never see a gully trap. It takes a lot of effort for us to do this. We have to integrate all the services. We can't do that up front. So this landscape was designed for winter in Jodhpur because all the guests come in winter. Very difficult. Nothing flowers in winters in here. But we managed to do that. It's a garden and everything is going to turn white. Why? Because we're creating space for night insects to come. We want to design for the day and for the night. And so we're cleaning all our marshes. So on the right, you see the cattails as part of the landscape. And we put it there because it's the fastest growing wetland plant or the plant. And so it gives privacy when you walk in into the landscape. Uh, and it gives privacy to the swimming pool. 
the whole sky is reflected in the pool. So the project budget, if I tell you, you'll be short. But when you saw Jodhpur, you saw all the stone from Jodhpur only. When you saw Bangalore, you saw the material from Bangalore. I'm taking you to Jaisalmer now, in the middle of nowhere, where we did the master planning architecture, interior space design and landscape. This is the wilderness landscape. That's what we designed. It's a tented accommodation that's rolled up during the summer. We designed every stitch in this project. We turned another cloth of the tents so there was no stitching left in it. It's placed on a higher elevation so that you can see the sunset. These are the luxury suites. And there's no lawn. Only the wilderness plants that are available in the region. Why would I want to come to Jaisalmer to see a Scottish or a Singaporean landscape? I would go to Scotland and pay 50,000 a night. I'm not stupid to come here. Why would I want to see an Alpine Scottish house in Srinagar? I'd go to Alpine places. I come to Srinagar to see the landscape of this place. I want to see the Muadeus in Gulmarg, not the golf course. What are we doing to our place? We're ruining it step by step by step without not. We're boundary walling. We've fenced out. The whole of Pahalgam is fenced. All of Gulmarg is fenced. Sonmarg is killed. Yusmarg is on his way to its amusement park. Pahalgam has an amusement park. Who on the earth needs it here? In the most amusing place in the world. The largest valley in the world. Why do you want it to become an amusement park? So this is Jaisalmer. And you see Jaisalmer stone used in 50 different ways. So we sometimes work with heritage. We'll soon be working with good meat. <laughs> uh, so this is a house in civil lines. We took the project. It didn't go the way we wanted uh, for, for reasons beyond us. But we were still happy with the outcome. The plant palette is not what we have done. Next. So even in this small project, Careful thought has gone where the water is going to drain. And you can very well tell where it is going to drain. That becomes the place to sit under the tree. Every angle of the lure has been worked out so that the neighbor doesn't look down when you're swimming. There's privacy, but it becomes a piece of art with, this, with the stone jali. It's very contemporary. So as you walk in, you can't see the person swimming, but you hear the voice of water as a waterfall. And at night, those lanterns become lighting globes. And you can see the before and after of the interior courtyard. So this is an ongoing uh, project that we won international competition for South Asian University in Delhi with Anubam Bansal, an architect. So every drop of water on the side is made into poetry, the way it moves. In the center, you see a huge forest that we have created. And landscape, we'll talk about it, what it means. Different views. It's a walkable campus, and it's been designed like that. You can cycle under the shade. It's integrated. Every bit of service has been planned, where it's going to go below the green track, or this pedestrian pathway, manhole doesn't pop out. It takes years of exercise. It can't happen in a day. Jaldi kar dije, nahi ho sakta ji. And that's the landscape we created. The huge, the, all the rainwater then comes here and becomes a lake and it becomes a promenade like the dull. All our inspiration is from here, and it's sad we can't do it anything here. So you see what we are doing here. One boon of water is going to the ground. All the dots, these are the four ways in which we are doing it. All the dots, about 360 of them, are going to send the water back into the ground. The bioswales are nothing but little streams that we saw in Kashmir. The detention pond is where we slow down the water. The retention pond is where we clay, create these small lakes. We have learned from here, from you. The water of the rooftop is so much water. You see, 378 liters of water we are sending in the ground. This is a 100 acre campus. You think about what we can do. We take one boon of water in the landscape. We design this way that the water will go to the ground and go to the ground. We revise the whole way in which plumbing is done. You know, there's no plumbing engineer. He just 
We have to teach him how to do it. The most innovative practices are put into place. Over years, 20 years, 25 years of research work goes into this. We are evolving completely every single day. Biological wastewater system in this campus in three different places. This is one tenth the cost of doing it. It's all available. हम थोड़ा सा पढ़ लें गूगल में तो शायद सीख जाएंगे हमें कौन सिखाता कोई नहीं सिखाता हमें ये सब थोड़ा पढ़ाया जाता है सो इट बिकम्स पार्ट ऑफ द लैंडस्केप इन द गार्डन एंड इट्स प्योरिफाइड इसमें मछली आ जाएंगी आपकी अपने आप एक लॉजिकल सेटअप क्रिएट हो जाएगा और ये अपने आप ही बगीचा बन जाएगा आपको ब्यूटिफाई करने की जरूरत नहीं है कश्मीर को वो ऐसे ही बहुत सुंदर है दिस वॉज माई फर्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट 1992 in in US landfill site i was helping them make these cat drawings and my boss would color them now it's other way around in my office is landfill site ko humne ek park bana diya us park ko pure region mein connect kar diya aur dekhiye kya kya karna chahte hain wahan pe from skiing to horse riding to large play fields you can turn it around but if you start with an engineering solution यू कॉन्ट यू हैव टू हैव अ मल्टी डिसिप्लिनिंग अप्रोच ये हम उन्नीस सौ साठ में बैठे हुए हैं अभी तो हमारी सारी लेक्स को हम सुधार सकते हैं यहाँ पर कोई बड़ी बात नहीं इट्स अ मैटर इट्स जस्ट अ मैटर यू कैन टर्न द होल वैली अराउंड इन फाइव ईयर्स टाइम इट्स ऑल इट्स रिक्वायर्ड दिस इज अंचार उसका अंचार ही बन गया अब मछली पकड़ रहे हैं मार्च बना दिया फिर फॉरेस्ट बन जाएगा ये बाकी शहरों की लेक्स हैं वियतनाम जैसी छोटी कंट्री जिस पे हम हंसते हैं सो दिस इज अबाउट फोर एंड हाफ किलोमीटर्स ऑफ रिवर फ्रंट इन इन पटना दैट वी डिड विद निशांत लाल बट अ प्रोजेक्ट स्टार्ट विद एनवायरमेंटल कंसर्न फिक्सिंग दैट इज द स्टोरी ऑफ लैंडस्केप लैंडस्केप इज नॉट अबाउट सम स्टूपेड ब्यूटिफिकेशन कॉन्सेप्ट गॉडनेस वेर इज कमिंग फ्राम सो प्रॉम दैट इज एट द हाइस्ट फ्लड लेवल रेस्ट ऑफ इट गोज अप एंड डाउन and it the landscape changes and that is what is landscape next so we also did the metro project for delhi metro last mile connectivity to bring the multimodal transport as close as possible to the metro station kitna hoga mujhe nahi malum 3 3 3 mahine ka project tha sare 3 saal ho gaye aap puchte hain sarkar mein kyun nahi hota kaam 3 months project that is our fees 3 and a half years last installment not received who can sustain this nonsense you see before and after ek din barish hoti hai to shehar ka ye hal hai kyunki aapne sedimentation ke liye kuch banaya hi nahi hai wo sara pani usme underground pipe mein jata hai jo ki 70 saal se badla nahi hai wo ja ke solid mass ho gaya andar mein to kya hum ye soch nahi hai hame hame kya karna chahiye kaun sikhayega ye hame so this was for the hyderabad metro competition we said we don't want to beautify it we did not win and we are happy we did not win and this is what we proposed every drop of water goes into the ground the medium is not not just a place for beautification but you see what the medium can become pani aap zameen mein daliye ek ek boond jayegi that is how you design the landscape hum medium ko uncha kar de rahe hain usme ek boond pani bhi nahi ja sakti our only thought is how to prevent the guy from crossing over दैट्स दी होल कॉन्सेप्ट वी है इट्स सच ए नेगेटिव एट्रीब्यूट वैसे भी वो कूद के जाएगा आप क्या पंद्रह फुट की वो उस पर दीवार बना के पैसे खर्च करेंगे जब वो बंदर की तरह कूद रहे नेहरू प्लेस में कूद देगा जिसको कूदना तो इट डजेंट वर्क बंदर बंदर ही रहेगा तो देखिए हमने क्या किया पानी हमने बंदर को कूदने की जगह नहीं दी पान वो उसको मीडियम को ऊंचा रखा पर नीचे छेद कर दिया क्योंकि अभी समय लगेगा हमें सीखने में ना तो पानी जमीन में जा रहा है एक सुंदर सा आर्च बन गया है है ना और आप देखिए हमने ऊपर क्या कर वी स्टडी द बिहेवियर ऑफ बर्ड्स फॉर मंथ्स टुगेदर वंस वी मेड दिस वी कट ऑन ऑल द ट्रीज तो चिड़िया यहाँ से वहाँ नहीं जा सकती थी खाली बड़ी चिड़िया जाएंगी मैं अभी गाड़ी चला रहा था फ्रॉम फ्रॉम डेली टू Mathra and the bird hit my windscreen at that speed, and it died. So the bird will hit the metro. It can't cross. Its habitat is finished. 
सो वी क्रिएटेड दिस टेम्प्रेरी जाली विच लुक्स ब्यूटिफुल कि जिस पे चिड़िया आके बैठ तो जाए उसको हम जगह तो दे दें और ये मानव जी ने बनाया था कि उसको कैसे लाइट अप कर सकते हैं हमने इसमें बहुत सारा काम किया हाउ टू काम द ट्रैफिक यू कैन स्मेल द प्लांट्स देर आर कलर्स वो सब हम दिखा नहीं रहे और फिर ये कॉम्पिटिशन होते हैं हम सोचते हैं हमने टाइम वेस्ट कर दिया क्योंकि जीता भी नहीं कुछ भी नहीं हुआ पैसे भी नहीं मिले तो, <laughs> तो जो भी हम काम करते हैं कभी ना कभी काम आ जाता है सो ऑल दिस वर्क अलॉन्ग विथ अनुज फॉर द पालम ग्रीन वे प्रोजेक्ट वेर वॉज द एडवाइजर इज़ नाउ बिकमिंग पार्ट ऑफ द्वारका वर्क द्वारका मेट्रो में अब वही काम करने जा रहे हैं इट्स इट्स बिकम लाइक दैट तो हमें फिर बुलाया गया कि ग्रीन सर्किट बनाइए दिल्ली में अलॉन्ग विथ थ्री अदर एक्सपर्ट्स सो द आइडिया वॉज टू कनेक्ट हम यहाँ पे टूरिज्म सर्किट बना रहे हैं हम दिल्ली में ग्रीन सर्किट बना रहे हैं कि आप दिल्ली के एक कोने से लेके आप दूसरे कोने तक साइकिल करके चले जाए चिड़िया भी चले जाए पानी भी उसमें आ जाए और फिर वी कैन ऑल्सो प्रॉब्लली वॉक थ्रू द स्पेस क्रिएट ऑल दैट इज पॉसिबल टू डू विद इन एन अर्बन विल्डनेस सो वॉट वी थॉट दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द लैंडस्केप ये ब्यूटिफिकेशन लिपस्टिक लगा लगा के क्या करेंगे हम तो दीज आर द फंक्शन दैट अ लैंडस्केप हैज टू परफॉर्म उसके बारे में हम सोचते नहीं है सारा प्रोजेक्ट फंड आता है चीफ इंजीनियर के पास जाता है एग्जीक्यूटिव इंजीनियर किसी से अपनी रिपोर्ट बना देता है पेविंग लग गए खत्म जी पैसे बढ़ गए सबके पास तो दिस इज हाउ वी क्रिएटेड दिस होल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कनेक्टिंग डिफरेंट जोन राइट फ्रॉम सरिता वी हैव टू नेल्सन मंडेला यू कैन कम ऑल द वे फ्रॉम हिंडन टू यमुना अलॉन्ग द रेलवे कॉरिडोर्स होल ऑफ नाजफगढ़ ट्रेन एंड पंकज इज वर्किंग ऑन दिस नाउ देन वी ब्रोक इट डाउन इंटू डिफरेंट टाइपोलॉजीज क्या 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 प्रॉब्लम्स आएंगी अगर हमें ग्रीन कॉरिडोर को कनेक्ट करना है तो ये सारे प्रॉब्लम्स आ रही थी उसके क्या सोल्यूशन है पूरी दुनिया में ये सब अवेलेबल है हमारे पास नेक्स्ट सो वी शेयर टू द गेम गवर्नमेंट कि क्या क्या किया जा सकता है अगर मेट्रो लाइन आती है लैंडफिल आता है तो हम क्या कर सकते हैं पार्क बना सकते हैं उसके ऊपर से चल के जाइए एक और एलिवेटेड कॉरिडोर आ गया जैसे न्यूयॉर्क में आया यहाँ पे आया पेडिस्टन ब्रिज बन गया जैसे बहुत सुंदर काम किया आपने फ्लाईओवर को रोक दिया उसको पेडिस्टन नाइस बना दिया बंड के ऊपर एस एन इनक्रेडिबल प्रोजेक्ट एंड एन अचीवमेंट दैट यू मेन सो नाउ कैन यू मेक इट मोर ब्यूटिफुल लुक वॉट वी पीपल हैड डन टू कॉन्क्रीट फ्लाई ओवर इन न्यूयॉर्क रेलवे लाइन आ जाती तो क्या कर सकते हैं जानवर को भी तो जाने दीजिए प्लीज मार दिए हमने सारे वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉरिडोर्स को सो हियर अब्रॉड यू सी अ कनेक्टिविटी विद द कार गोज बिलो एंड द वाइल्ड लॉस वाइल्ड लाइफ क्रॉस इज ओवर एंड यू सी द डिफरेंट वेज इन विच इट कैन बी डन एंड फॉर स्मॉलर एनिमल्स यू कैन गो बिलो द रोड जब जानवर ही नहीं बचे तो हम क्या करेंगे हम मर जाएंगे एंड दिस इज हाउ यू कैन ट्रांसफॉर्म द होल लैंडस्केप so so there is a mandate now for delhi to convert all its greens into biodiversity parks which are three layered niche shrub hogi beech mein middle story hogi and this is very important for the forest people who are here and upar mein canopy hoga ye typology is six to hum purane shehar mein kashmir mein kya kar sakte hain green corridor hai aap chal ke ja sakte hain ali kadal se leke rajbagh tak kahin tak bhi chal ke ja sakte hain aur chote chote spaces hai hum aapko kaise rejuvenate kar sakte hain intersection ko kaise kar sakte hain हमारे लेक को क्या कर सकते हैं दिस इज कोलम्बो मिडल ऑफ कोलम्बो सो द बायोलॉजिकल वेस्ट वाटर सिस्टम वी आर वर्किंग विथ द फाउंडेशन ऑफ हियर एंड मैनी ऑफ दिस थिंग्स दैट आई हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट वी आर डूइंग इट बिहाइंड द सेम क्वाइटली सो दैट एटलीस्ट वी स्टार्ट द लेवल वन ऑफ एजुकेटिंग ए लेवल ऑफ पीपल दैट दीज आर द पॉसिबिलिटीज टू बी डन सो इन आरू विलेज बिटवीन Uh, we want to create this whole eco village and the first thing to start with is doing a biological waste water treatment system i'll take you to this last project which we are doing with lotus in the mountains in uttarakhand next so we analyze how steep is the site where to build where not to build 100 acre mein sirf 50 ghar ban rahe hain to builder paisa kamana chahta hai but 100 mein bhi utne hi kama lega chahe 200 banaye utne hi kamayega it's up to us how we market it how we up it up yahan par bhi 4279 lakh liters of water will penetrate into the ground through the devices that we are planning to create and about uh, we have finished creating two of these swales have already been finished by creating very simple structure 
So all the, so now you see in the master plan rendering that we created recently, एक भी building पानी के रास्ते में नहीं है. And now this is our way to work, and we are grateful for Lotus to Lotus on this. कि we waited, we are grateful to the client for this. उन्होंने हमें नौ महीने दिए master plan बनाने के लिए एक private client ने. तो एक भी building नहीं है आपको इसमें. और जितने भी नाले के पास में आपको जगह दिखाई दे रही है वो सारे कॉन्जर्वेशन जोन है और सारे वाटर चैनल्स को हमने कनेक्ट कर दिया नेक्स्ट तो ये मास्टर प्लान निकला है आप देख रहे हैं इसकी डेंसिटी कितनी कम है वी ट्राइंग टू से हाउ यू कैन बिल्ड वेरी डिफिकल्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द साइट इज मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट स्लो बट इट बिंग प्लग इन स्मॉल Very few building. Most of the building remain on the stilt. We're not disturbing the natural movement of water. All the roads, as you see in the pathways, are from the back entry, so that you minimize the damage. So we are not saying you can't develop. Please develop, but do it more beautifully and sensitively. So jungle ke beech mein hum ghar banana chahte hain, to kaise banayenge? Steel mein aur lakdi mein, kyunki site pe hum minimum damage karna chahte hain. So these are some of the renderings. How do I know about this? I come here and know कि बादाम के फूल सबसे पहले आएंगे और वो सफेद होंगे। उसके बाद पिंक आएगा चेरी का। तो हमने आप ही से सब सीखा है और आप ही के पास नहीं कर पा रहे। Vineyards बनाएं, terraces बनाएं, है ना? और नीचे बैठने की जगह बनाइए। Just small interventions in the landscapes. A house, a small house, in the middle of the thicket. And that's the tension. इसको बनाने में दो हफ्ते लगते हैं। समय दीजिए बन जाएगा। इस रेंडरिंग को सिर्फ दो हफ्ते लगते हैं। So this is the third type of house. So we're celebrating the landscape: a house in the woods, a house in the terrace, a house by the lake, a house in the orchard, a house in the agrarian landscape. कुछ नहीं करना है, सब कुछ कुदरत ने दिया है। ये ज़्यादा स्लाइड्स नहीं हैं, but we do a lot of bioengineering work. Which Siddharth showed yesterday. Sadak Bandri us ke saath mein hum usko stabilize karte ja rahe. Retaining wall is the first option. We are not doing any of that. You don't need it. To mein hi aapko kal ke slides dekh raha hun. Jisko dekh ke mera khun dorne lag gaya. Lal ho gaya, pila ho gaya. To ye aapke, iske bahar hi mein hai. Iske kya zarat hai yaha par? Aap batayye, na ye parking lot hai. Iske kya zarat hai? Itne paise waste karne ke kya zarat hai? ये एम्बैंकमेंट बनाने की क्या जरूरत है इसमें इसमें कॉन्क्रीट डालने की जरूरत है इतने ही पैसे से हम हम पूरे नदी का एम्बैंकमेंट वेजिटेशन से खत्म कर सकते हैं ये एसकेआईसीसी में इसकी जरूरत है आपको सामने इतना सुंदर डल लेक है ये क्या है मजाक हो रहा है लैंडस्केप के नाम पे आप ही देखिए मैं नहीं बोलूंगा आप बताइए ये क्या लैंडस्केप है कितने करोड़ लग गए इसमें आपको जरूरत है पीछे खूबसूरत है कि सामने खूबसूरत है आप ही बताइए है ना तो जागो ग्राहक जागो जागो समय आ गया नेक्स्ट एंड थैंक यू सो मच